Welcome to the chopping block, where brands send their leather products in exchange for my unfiltered opinion. This is Kuyana Classic Easy Tote. At first look, it's a uh, pebble leather. It definitely feels, touches like a, a nice cowhide leather. It's a unstructured design with no accessories. It's intentionally designed that way. It looks pretty good. It's put together nicely. Uh, we're gonna see what's behind the curtain. No lining. This is made in Turkey. Open it up. Definitely shows through to what is described about the back. non-stretch stuff inside yeah there so as expected just cool we're gonna see how much of a finish on it it doesn't feel terrible i i like the level of finish grain here let's see what's gonna come out under the grain as you see the the pigment finishes are coming off. Okay. Yeah, there's quite a bit of pigment finish on it. There is a good film layer, and underneath, I can see the the grain that is buffed. Definitely a top grain leather, um, finished with a pigment layer, pigment film, and embossed with that pebble pattern to accomplish this standard color and look across. Not a bad leather. It's, you can use pretty mediocre average leathers to get this result. It's a very typical finish. The benefits of this heavy finish is easily cleanable. It's not that receptive to water. I think we need about 12 square foot of this pebbled cow hide uh, to make a bag of this sort. There is no accessories whatsoever. It's a fairly simple design, very clever, clean, minimal design, easy to put together. $35 for leather estimate, $40 for assembly. In my opinion, $75 should be enough to get a bag like this done. Given my estimate of $75 to make a bag like this, their price of $248 seems like a very fair deal. The leather choice is good. Uh, it's a mediocre leather finished nicely for a very typical fashion bag. On top of that nice design and craftsmanship, it came in a beautiful box with a dust bag and they advertised that they source their leather from LWG certified tanneries, which makes sure the environmental practices are followed in the tanning side of things. So it seems like a detail-oriented brand providing good value to the leather consumer here.